Uh, hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just wanted to go over doing a very deep um, review with a combination IQ feed, Motive Wave, the software trading uh, platform with their Java samples, which I've put into this new playlist on my YouTube channel uh, under Motive Wave, um, as well as IQ feed because we're using the combination. Beautiful, <laughs> that's all I can say. And now we're going to look at the actual trading platform of Motive Wave. I will say that Motive Wave, um, first of all, talks to a lot of things. Um, you can see here, these are the data sources or data providers. My favorite is IKFI. Uh, that's all I can say. But all the other ones that may other people may use. Um, bar chart is cool. Crypto compare is, is good as well. And that is a good thing. Now, when you look at these supported brokers, um, the current ones that I will give pluses for, for sure, are definitely Oanda, uh, FXCM, dare I say. But the one I'm really excited about is Interactive Brokers because, of course, we talk to all the major asset classes for stocks, forex, futures, CFDs, and options. So that is big. Okay, so I've already explained in another video my planned combination of using IQ feed with uh, as a data provider and using interactive brokers as the execution for orders. The only additions you can do that with confirm from their support, which has been, as I said, very responsive and really good uh, so far uh, is professional edition and the ultimate edition. And you can get one time licenses for 1K, which I think is a deal and a half and something I would definitely, definitely Definitely consider. Okay, enough of the blabbing. Let's get in with the show and uh, show off the software. So first things first, you will notice I got IQ feed working in the background. Finally, I can say I got this running great with no issues because the IQ feed turns on that connect button. So here's the software. This has got to be, um, first let's talk about Mac. Mac trading software on Mac is really limited, but now we have a full-blown Mac uh, supported trading platform on Mac OS. Finally, it's been here for a while. I just fun, finally discovered it um, a few years ago. The charting in this is mind-blowingly good. Now, this is a demo of the Ultimate Edition, which is about, I believe, 1500 bucks. There are so many things you can do with this. So right now, you're looking at live data with Austra Australian dollar and USD from FXCM as a data source, and that's through <coughs> um, IQ feed. So clearly you can see um, uh, studies are part of this, strategies are part of this with automation and automated trading. Yahoo, we are looking good. So first things first is um, the view. This can get kind of confusing, but I just want to show you the charting on this is amazing. Like, I cannot stress how really cool this is. I've been playing around enough with technical analysis, and I thought, oh, technical analysis is useless. But there's some of it which may be, like, for example, if you go into the uh, study, you get into astro astro astrological moon phases and planets. I mean, really? But it's here if you want it. <clears throat> um, but it's there. Here we have volume profile. Let me see if I can uh, do this. So um, obviously this may take a while because it's, it's on um, five minute data. Um, in the meantime, can I, so here we can add uh, current price, 7254, 7280. Um, so looks like uh, I've got this little guy busy and tied up. I am going to pause the video until we figure it out. Okay, so continuing along, we have our uh, volume profile. Uh, we have our little label here. Um, we can put a little time in here, whatever we want. For, and this is for annotation because here you can uh, take photos or, or doing snapshots. We have um trend lines if you want you know it's it's pretty sophisticated very 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 convenient for this sort of thing i love it um not a lot of platforms have this 
Um, also, let me show you something that's kind of important as well. Documentation is really important to me. So if you go under products, sorry, support, guides, you will get some pretty, pretty, pretty cool documentation. This one I just read, well, actually, this is the user's guide right here. It's a couple hundred pages. They walk you through each screen, what each screen does, some tips, how to use them. Really good quality. Um, also, if you're into the API, which I showed you before, which I forgot to mention, the code is very well documented itself to really get you up and running. That's a rare feat in today's world of um, software. So again, we have channels if we want to apply. You know, pretty, pretty awesome, I would think. But what do I know? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's pretty good. Um, if you're into these gizmos, it's all here. Speed lines, uh, time range, all kinds of stuff here. And then um, time cycle. Okay, so that's general. Then we have the basic. Um, so we can add you know, comments, trend line again, da 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 da. Okay. Um, now, also under components, it gets more sophisticated. We can add all this commentary, whatever we want. I'm not sure if this is part of the software development kit. If it was, I'd be like, whoa. I do know the markers are available through, because that's what I read in the um, in the document for the programmers, the SDK documentation is going to add triangles, arrows, and all that through the SDK. So that's pretty cool. Fibonacci, this is really, really fantastic, to be honest. Because even, um, I think J4X had it, but to do things like retrace, like voila, set your targets right on the fly, all the different Fibonacci levels that you have available to you, different types, like fan retracement. Yo, man, that is phenomenally cool. Um, so this is why I'm like, man, there's so many toys in here that may work. Fibonacci bars, I'm not going to confuse people with that. And, and regression, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So I, uh, I got to say, that's a, that's a really well done job. I have seen GANs. The only one I can probably say that might be useful is this one, the fan. Um, if you have upswings or set targets again, who knows? I'm not... I haven't used it, but uh, say what you will. Here's another advanced one. is the Elliott Wave. I've never been a real um, believer in Fibonacci, but if you are into setting all your target levels, and you again, you can probably pro do all this programmatically, um, triangles and whatever. Here's where it gets really good. These are the more advanced Gartley or um, harmonics. So if you see my stuff, I can do Gartley, Gartley Bear, Butterflies, Crabs, and Bats. I'm going to inc include some other ones that I know about. Uh, ABC equals CD. And, um, you know, to, to get this done in uh, J4X was, was tough. It, it took a lot of processing. Again, I don't know if you can systematically generate these, but if you could... I'd be like blown away, but again, these are more advanced charts, and you got to go into the higher um, levels, the higher tier of pricing for the software or, or functionality for that. Um, so that's the view there. You can also do um, depth of market if I was uh, connected of um, different limit orders, all your different types of orders with the stop loss, trail limit. I mean, it's I mean, it's pretty impressive. So you can put your P&L, your bid and ask, all that fun stuff. Um, what else we have here? So, I mean, for the money, you have news headlines. Uh, not sure why. Maybe the markets are not open or I don't have my news uh, on. Uh, so we have news headlines, news viewer. I can't remember how this works, but uh, I did have it working earlier. Uh, also, we have, what else we got? Object viewer alerts that you can do. 
I have read the um, documentation so you can have signals as well and have them automatically emailed out to you. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know where to, to end it. Like, it's just, there's a lot here. Uh, I will call this a beast in a very positive way. Auto analyze. I'm sure if I read uh, the, the documentation properly as I should. And again, I've pushed something I shouldn't be and I have to pause the video. Here we go. Oh, no, okay. Um, okay, uh, we'll just leave it at that. So again, 30 minute view, one minute view. I mean, let's see what else we got. Uh, clear all the local data, you know, show volume, which we're doing, group studies. Um, okay, so studies. This is very, very, very powerful. Okay, so we have classic uh, technical analysis here. If you got your RSI, your Bollinger's, um, Elliott Wave, CCI, um, RSI, as I said, all the, all the stochastics, different kinds, um, Williams R. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. RSI bars, stochastic bars. Like I said, moon, moon planet, for astro astrological, different types of moving averages, your classic ones, SMA, EMA. Um, man, uh, what else we got? Different types of volume indicators. Um, it just, it's just, I don't even use half, of, I wouldn't even use a, a tenth of these or a percent, but they're there. And, uh, you know, I could go on. And here's the examples from my custom API or SDK. Uh, that's part of the samples, so you can create your own if you wanted. Um, yeah, it's just go Sortino. I mean, man, if you want Sortino. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, okay. So... This is the strategy part, so you can, again, in Java, develop custom strategies for yourself. They can be generated manually for signal generation, or you can add in for the trading as well. Um, there was one as an example. Let me just see. Oh, so here's one, sample MA cross strategy. So here we have um, how we want to display the colors and the width and all that fun stuff, the fast and moving average as defined in the code, which is was an eclipse, but I'm not going to bring that up. The trading options, your lot size if you wanted. I mean, strategy panel, signals. Let's fire her up. So we activate it. Off she goes. Um, Let's see uh, what it's doing. I guess it's not going to work because it's not linked up to a, bro a live broker. So um, I do believe there is a good example of a strategy I can show you. If I can find it called Trade Manager right here. So here again, we have our lot size, what we can do on the exit, uh, on the target levels, if it's pips in this case, we can set stop losses. ATR and the multiplier percentage. And again, what we display on the strategy panel. And again, we have here, uh, let's just create it. I'm gonna go long, activate. And it did make some fancy sounds, but enter now. So we put a couple of orders in, hooray. I'm a hero and of course I'm losing money. And we close now. Um, and we can let me just turn that off. I don't know where I can look for my PL, but it's, I'm sure it's somewhere in here if I want. Now, one thing, other thing I might add is in this, you can definitely spam all these windows uh, across multiple monitors. So it's pretty, pretty, um, let me see, time, time and sales. Maybe it's in there. I don't know. I'm not gonna waste my time. But uh, so those are some of the strategies. Obviously, this is a higher end pricing. Let me just deactivate this little 
strategy here and go back to the strategies. So here are all the different strategies that you have. There was one called the Vidya. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it, but what do I care? Um, and uh, these are out of box, so you can play with these. Here's that example, uh, again, from the example code, um, accelerator, the accelerator, recent stuff. Um, and you can, now, I'm gonna try some fancy stuff. These are all the different symbols I can watch. And again, I have through my, uh, uh, through my IQ feed, I have access to US stock and Forex through FXCM. So let me just see if we can pull up Caterpillar, let's say. Um, the data's not gonna be, because it's uh, Thursday, Black F Thursday, US Thanksgiving. So, um, the markets are closed, but I can obviously pull up, in this case, uh, the Forex. So here along the top, we can do fancy things like uh, file, uh, save images, uh, save uh, all kinds of the parameters and, and all the uh, indicators I've got on this particular chart. Um, like I said, you can do this auto analyze. Uh, alerts, you can do, what do we got here? Different, um, we can apply different indicators right on the overlay of the chart, do our zooming. Here we can add in our different types of lines. Again, here, uh, the symbols, I'm still trying to figure out. Um, and I don't know where to stop because this is a very cool, uh, a very, very cool for, for what you pay. I think it's uh, worth the money, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I'm pretty pretty excited with uh, that. This is now running with um, J4 uh, with uh, um, IQ feed on top of um, with uh, the broker of choice, which again, as I said, is IB Interactive Brokers. When, if I wanted, the only test if I can get it working with my database of choice, which is the um, uh, Redis. And there you go. So there's the data in there. I don't know what time frames this is 30 minute. Many different uh, time frames along here. Um, I don't know the scanning. I don't know. There's just a lot to it. Option chain data, which I could probably get if I have that through the um, through the IT feed uh, home. This is what I want to show you. Let's see if this works. So I believe this is just their default um, profile for, I guess in this case, Apple and all the different uh, entries, order, bid, asks. If this is connected, we get our bid and ask and our spread, call, uh, spread ability. We can have it simulated or demo. So that's pretty well it. And yes, you can uh, have it connect into different workspaces. So for instance, in my case, as I said earlier, you could have IG feed as your data provider, interactive brokers for your execution and orders. And that's probably um, what I would recommend. And again, we have all our, um, our, all our setup of our pricing and uh, levels and low, high, all that fun stuff. All right. So um, it's, Pretty cool. That's all I can say. I've, I've at this point, I'm nothing connected to this company, but I would not be surprised in how they operate. Um, very business friendly for, you know, if you're interested in getting a copy or whatever, uh, it's up to you. But that's about it. Um, very extensive, and that's what I can show you for now. Again, if you really want to know the stuff, pull up the. Uh, guides go through the user guide which is available and that will walk you through everything um, I'm just walking you through what I've been pretty well playing with and I'll tell you this is really cool especially as I said to have it run with IQ feed and access the coding uh, for both IQ feed with um, uh, 
motive wave on top of uh, connecting into into interactive brokers. And as I said, if you want to know all of the where to go for the brokers and the data services, it's all here. Pricing is uh, right here for the different levels of, uh, of functionality in the products. You can get things uh, by modules, you can lease. It's very affordable no matter what your situation is and it starts at a hundred bucks. All right, so hopefully I'll help you out and uh, we shall talk to you soon and hopefully this will help you out later.